Okay, hi everybody, it's Sam. This is the movie wrap-up for uh, February. Ooh, wait, I almost forgot. <laughs> I'll start with the twins and Tubi first. Um, wow. Um, I, I should have wrote the year as these came out. If any of these sound from, like good, I, I'll try to give you a little bit of a description. I don't like ruining the movie. Basket Case. It's about two brothers who were like, what, Siamese twins or something. The way they're connected. Um, it's a horror movie. Uh, and they get just like con unconnected, and the brother that was connected to him, everybody thought he'd die, but he didn't, and he's just like a blob, a blob of flesh, basically, um, and it's about all the problems they get into, especially if they're trying to get revenge on the doctors who separated them, Return to Horror High, another horror movie, I can't that one too much. Is that the one where a film crew is trying to film there and it's, yeah, I think that's what happened. I think that's the one. The killer. Uh, at first it made me laugh who the killer was. It's a pretty good movie, too. I can't really explain that one too much. The Three Stooges Lost Comedies. That's just like behind the scenes of the Three Stooges. Uh, pretty Dead. That is about a girl who dies. So she takes some drugs. She dies. And she comes back and she's a zombie. And she can't die. Not like a normal zombie can. She can't die. Uh, Sugar Sisters. That's just about two. Oh, no, more than two. It's like three or four sisters who are uh, sugar babies. Uh, the Beast Inside Her. Oh, that, that, uh, the uh, Sugar Sisters. Uh, isn't it's just a documentary. Um, the Beast Inside Her, that's a horror movie. Okay, that one's kind of stupid. It is, it is. It's really, really stupid. Because it's supposed to be about her somehow getting possessed by the, like, a spirit or something. It's just like this blue orb that goes inside of her. Uh, and it makes her a werewolf. But not for one time does she ever turn into, a, like, a werewolf. Every time throughout the movie, she almost looks like a freaking vampire. But it's a werewolf. It's supposed to be. It's so stupid. Um, the Crush. That's got Alicia Silverstone in it. That is about a girl who becomes obsessed with this writer. And she like falls in love with him. And she's obsessed with him. To the point to where she wants to kill people to have him. And... Um, Know something. Oops. I gotta do another video. Uh, whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah. And the, like, <laughs> everything goes along with being obsessed. At first, he's kind of, I guess you could say he's kind of into it. She's 14. This is the problem. I don't know how old he is. He's in his 20s. He's in his 20s. At first, he's almost into it, because he does kiss her at one point, but then he's like, no, I don't want to have no pro I don't have no part of it. Like, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't want to. I guess after the kiss, he realized how wrong it is. Okay. Another horror movie coming up. Ticks. That's what's called, Ticks. Uh, you know, the little boogies that, you, ticks, yeah. Uh, it's just about these ticks that get this oozy stuff on them and it turns them into super ticks. 
Oh my god, it's sick. And it's got the dude off of, if I'm not mistaken, Fresh, one of the boys off of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Carlton, I think that's his name. It has him on it. In a horror movie. <laughs> it's actually really good. I am going to get that one. Uh, now, while I'm reading this, I gotta tell you. I don't know whether these are still on Tubi or not, so. But, oh, they're on my list. They were on Tubi at one point. Circus King. That is about uh, a circus. It's almost like if anybody's seen, uh, what was that, Dead Ride? It's a Eight Films to Die For movie. Well, the one I've got is. I don't know. It might have been out of that set by now, but, um, it's almost like that, except this one's like a father and daughter. Father and daughter kill people, try to capture it on that, and the dad is like severely burned, because he was in a fire at one point. Um, oh, it's, it's good. That one's good, too. In the Deep Woods. Okay, I can't even remember that one. It was boring. I think the only thing I can remember in that is it got, it's got, I think it's Rosanna Arquette. It's one of the Arquette sisters in it. Patricia Arquette, Rosanna Arquette? No, I think it's Rosanna uh, Arquette. Because um, I know there's Patricia and then there's Rosanna. And I think there was another one, but... I don't know. Did he actually was he transgender or not? I'm not sure. It's like uh, I'm I'm running into a tangent now. Sorry. All I know is that there's a killer and it's like a mystery. I, I don't know whether to call it horror or not. It, it's a mystery. It's like a murder mystery. And um, the Rosanna Arquette's character, she ends up kind of piecing things together and finding out who the killer is along with it I think it's a cop a detective or somebody's help okay there's another stupid one coming at you the devil's carnival okay if you like horror movies it's got musicals in them sure go ahead I knew it was a musical going into it not only was that a musical, which I have no problem with. I love Sweeney Todd, you know, and some other musicals, too. Again, that one's, in the, it's like the devil wants to take over heaven or something. I, I'm not really sure. I think there's a part two to this. I think it's called Alleluia or something. I'm not really sure. But it, he's wanting to take the devil's carnival to heaven. Basically. And... One of his demons, clown things or something. He was talking to it. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's so hard to freaking describe this. It's like three people who get stuck in hell, but they don't know they're in hell. Uh, a thief, a dude who committed suicide. And there's somebody else too. The guy not only committed suicide, but he's trying to find his son because his son got taken to hell. But I think his son's really in heaven. I'm not really sure on that part. That one's kind of confusing a lot. Okay, the Hotel New Hampshire. That was, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. Uh, it's got Jodie Foster in it. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm trying to remember the actor's names in it. And I know the dude, but I don't remember his name. But I'll just say Jodie Foster. Uh, Jodie Foster's character gets raped. And her dad and mom, and they, they were owning a, a hotel. They always called the, every time they opened up, every time they opened up a hotel, they called it the Hotel New Hampshire. Because uh, they keep closing down the hotel and then opening up again. <clears throat> but into her far ahead of myself uh, that she gets raped her brothers find her and get the boys to go away basically uh, 
it's basically just a story about a family dealing with stuff. Uh, there's one sad scene on it. God, it actually hurt me. The mother and the youngest son. Oh, no, three scenes. No, two scenes hurt, hurt me. The mother and the youngest son die in a plane crash. It's That's sad. And the girl, one of the... She keeps calling herself a midget, but she ain't. She's a growing child. Hello. She commits suicide because she's got writer's block. Because she becomes a writer. It's so sad. The thing that makes me kind of uncomfortable. Jodie Foster's character and her brother sleep together, if you get my drift. Have sex. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I just like... Okay, some of that stuff actually doesn't... It depends on how it's shot. And then how they shot that in that movie? I'm like, no. <laughs> Especially, it's like, they're both in love with each other. <laughs> I mean, I'm not meaning to like disrespect anybody if if you know one of you one of my followers subscribers is one of those people in those types of relationships love is love you can't help who you fall in love with it's just it's just what the, the way they shot it in the movie it kind of made me uncomfortable okay uh, the Slayer. 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 I know it's a horror movie. It's, I might have to look it up. It's like, I, I'm getting confused with certain movies. <laughs> Wicked Blood, I know that one. Uh, yeah, Wicked Blood is... <laughs> good. <laughs> but The Slayer, let me see. It's like, if I see the poster to it, I'll be able to definitely tell you. Oh god, yeah, now I remember it. It's another one of those movies that was bad, and made, you know, I don't remember too much about it. About this woman who can see the future or something. She's connected to this place. And it's this thing, you don't see it until the very freaking end almost, of something that's killing her friends, and it's trying to kill her too. Really, it's all the, I'm guessing the girl had a high fever and she was hallucinating. This little girl, oh wait, I don't want to ruin it. I'm not sure about the ending, because it's like confusing a little bit. I don't want to give away too much. Oops. <sighs> I might have spoiled that a little bit. The only part that I, I really liked in that is when a dude, and it happens pretty early on, his head gets, like one of her friend's heads gets caught in a door. Like one of those, it's like a door that kind of like closes like that. And his head kind of like, imagine it, okay, the door's just like this. And then all of a sudden, snap. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty sick. Because he was still alive and he was trying to get loose and it eventually... <laughs> Wicked Blood. That's got. No, I can't remember her name. I can't remember her name. I'm wanting to make sure I got the name right. I don't want to tell you the wrong actress in it. It's got. Alexa Vega, I remember that. She, her being on there. Abigail Breslin. All right, I was, I was right. I was thinking her name, but I wanted to make sure. Uh, uh, okay, they're playing as two sisters, and they're from like a rival family to this other drug thing, and it's kind of like a drug war. It's almost like Romeo and Juliet. You know, the only there's a sad part in that one too. That's not a horror movie. Uh, Sleepaway Camp 2 is a horror movie. Hello, I mean, who hasn't watched Sleepaway Camp? It's about Angela. 
she's oh, anybody you know it's like early on in the movie they just don't know it's the Angela from part one Angela she's in another camp and she's like a counselor and the killing continues <laughs> Actually, she's pretty nice at the beginning. Like, she doesn't kill people. She's like, she's wanting a nice camp. <gasps> oh, yeah. Duh. <sighs> I was like, Vampire Circus. Wait, what? And then, yeah, I remembered it. That is a very hard to find movie. It's like expensive as all get out. And then, like, I think the only way you can get it is if you have a rigid free DVD player or Blu ray player or something. Because. It's like expensive. Cause I was I really liked that movie. I was gonna get it. I was gonna see if I had Amazon, eBay, something like that. Yeah, they have it on Amazon and eBay. That it's got. You need money to get it. I think the only cheapest one I could find is on I think Amazon or eBay one. Uh, it's like thirty dollars, and I think it's a Blu-ray. I don't have a Blu-ray. I think I. I mean, I could probably watch it on my niece's. Xbox One S, I think she said I can watch Blu-rays on that. But I'm afraid if I get it, put it on that, and it won't play it. I mean, how will I be able to watch it? <laughs> but I may end up getting it if I can find it cheap enough. Oh, I only have one more movie to talk about. Oh, well, The Vampire Shark. It's just about a vampire who uh, falls in love with this woman, a human woman, but he pretty much gets her to turn against her own family for many, many, many years. And, but he gets staked, put to sleep. He puts a curse on them. The curse pretty much succeeds itself, except, oh, she goes to this certain, that's what the vampire circus says, go to this vampire circus, go to my cousin, he'll help you understand the curse to get him out of being asleep. Help him out, get his powers back and jump. I actually the dude who played the cousin I don't know who his name is, but he is actually kinda cute. <laughs> Emil, I think I think that's how you say his name is Emil. The cousin. At first I thought he was an okay guy, nice guy. No. <laughs> He's not. Um, but I think he's just so stuck into getting his cousin out of the sleep that he can't focus on anything else. He kills a lot of people. <laughs> Even some of the... Two two of the um, circus people actually... Actually, a bunch of them do. But two of them actually get killed by the vampires. Well, we are vampires. There's more than one. I don't want to give too much of the story away. The Untold Story of Emmett Lewis Teal. That is basically anybody who's ever heard of the unsolved. Well, no, it's not unsolved. It's actually been solved. Oh, God, I wish some people would go to jail. What they did to that poor 14 year old boy. And pretty much a black, back in the day, it was not okay to do it. A 14 year old black boy whistled, and I mean, just like. Like, at a white woman. It was, but it was like a different. It was like the, what they called the wolf call, you know. Hey, I think you're cute, you know. He whistled at a white woman, and it got him freaking killed for it. But that woman was saying, "Oh, he came on to her," and, so, and his brothers were there, and brother and cousin, I think, or friend or something, was there. And they said, no, he did not, that, that didn't happen. He just whistled, and they got so freaking terrified, they freaking got in the car and went away. And the mother said, he could not flirt with her that way, because he has speech impediment. You know, I mean, it's like you cannot even understand, like, the... It's sick what they did to him. Because you can't even tell it's a... When I saw his, like, open casket... She had, he had an open casket. It's like... I, I thought it was a wax figure... Or some kind of deformed figure. Like a fake dummy or something. I didn't know it was a real human. 
I was like, oh my god. What the? And I saw pictures of when he was alive. How? Oh my god. That poor boy. I wish I could go back in time and stop that from happening. But the mother, like, thought of his, his death meant something. Like, to stop other black people from that happening. But his mother never still got to see justice done for her son. The man that... The two dudes who got arrested and in trial... They got set free. Smack on the hand. It's basically it. I bet you the two dudes now are dead. That's how long ago it was. Because the mother is dead. She never got to see justice for him. But the brothers are. If I'm not mistaken, though, they are opening up his trial again. So they might charge the two dudes. What's that called again? After death. Posthumously or something like that? Like, charge them even though they're dead? I mean, at least they'd have, like, okay, the guys, he finally got justice. Even though the two dudes are dead, he, they, they're, they're pretty much, you know... I, th I think there was more people than those two. I think there was more than those two, though, involved. Okay, that's on. Um, that's what I'm uh, watched right now. On the two. Good God, I'm gonna have to rush through these. I'm not gonna be able to talk about them. Wow. Uh, the Crow by Brandon Lee. Sad movie, if you stop and think about last, his last movie. I'll just do it as fast as I can. If you guys can, zoom in. Hopefully it won't be too blurry. Oh, made, hopefully I can tell you. I think it's the 90s. It ain't telling me. Nope, 1996. I think. Because that's the number it has on her. XX Baggage. Really? Okay, I don't, I don't think so. 97. I was thinking, I saw 2003, I'm like, uh huh. And then I saw 1993. 1997. 97. Uh, I love this movie, it's super funny. Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna say, the extra trailer. I love this movie. It's funny, 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 funny. 1989. I should probably watch the. I don't think I watched the special features. I watched both of these, and this is Valentine's Day. This, uh, this one. That's Valentine's Day. I watched that on Valentine's Day. Uh, My Bloody Valentine, 1981. Uh, April Fool's Day, 1986. And no special features, so I'm not going to show you that. Sleepwalkers. What else did I watch on Valentine's Day? Ah, I see it. <clears throat> Sleepwalkers, uh, made in 1992. I love this movie. If there were, I, I, I call them vampires, vampire like creatures. If there were vampire like creatures out there like that, I don't know. I mean, could you actually... I don't know. This story... Could you get changed if you were, like, by them? If they wanted to change you? Like a vampire? Or they can't. you got to be born that way. I wish you could have made a, a book. Like, a continuance of this. Stephen King. Okay. Um... Valentine's Day. <laughs> Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day, so... Uh, made in 2010. Uh, it's just a trailer to some Sex and the City 2. And some, like, deleted scenes, I think, and stuff too on that one. Additional scenes. My Bloody Valentine 3D. The remake. 2009. I don't think I got the... No, oh, yeah. I don't know how many it was supposed to come with, but I have one.
It's just commentary. I was going to show you, but it's just commentary. Valentine. Made in 2001. I can't believe, man, it's been that long. 19 years. Wow. <sighs> yeah, it's got some special features. I guess. Bride of Chucky, made in 1998. Faculty, made in. I don't think this is going to tell me. If I'm mistaken, in the 90s as well. It's not going to tell me. It's one of the ones that won't tell me. And it's only got a trailer. Footloose. Made in '84 because uh, I don't want to catch any music, so that's what I was going to do. Lost Boys to Thirst, made in 2010, and it's only got the Charisma Carpenter vampire thingy. No, I didn't. Bye. <laughs> oh, right now, though, I am going to watch either Witchery or Slumber Party Massacre. Don't know yet. 